okay 2022 is over with it was all about traveling and now it's 2023 and what is it to what's to come so I'm excited I feel like I have some ideas on what I want to do but it's constantly changing but this is what so far I have planned out for 2023 okay so just keep an update for the YouTube channel for Marida and Dre that one we're gonna finish out the videos in Turkey and a little bit of when we come back to the US but other than that, we're not really going to post videos much. Because now that we're back, Dre's doing his own thing. I'm doing my own thing. So there's not a lot of videos we're creating together. Because everybody's doing their own thing. And that's perfectly fine. Um, everybody does their own thing. But he'll probably pop up. Um, anyway, he'll pop up in the new channel. Segue into what I was going to say next. Um, there is going to be a new channel. It's going to be called Kenry. Kenry was actually created a long time ago. Um, it was regarding fashion and travel fashion that incorporated travel in it. And now I'll say it's also going to start including the book. And I guess all in all, Kenry is all about enjoying the small things, you know, and, and that can be in whatever spectrum it is for you. And at the moment, it would just be a mixture of everything. So it could <clears throat> sometimes it will talk about fashion, sometimes it'll talk about travel, uh, books and just other things that I'm working on as well. Which will actually I'll talk about some of the other stuff that will be on the channel and just also what I'm trying to do. Dre may pop in and out a little bit on that channel, but it's mainly going to be me. I'm focused on that channel more. Um then the main goal really now that we're back in the US is the w it's changed like I do not want to come back and be who I was before because traveling changed I was, it changed me a lot and I know or I have an idea on the things that I want to do and that's really what I want to go after yes it means things are going to be rougher because I officially got myself in debt after being out of debt for such a long time because I recently purchased a car but in the process of it I'll be able to do like ride shares or just other things I'll be able to bring in money and that's what the content will be is me trying to get money in multiple different avenues um, and just the whole journey of it all so whether it's coming along ride sharing with me or whatever other I don't want to state it because I have one that I'm thinking of, but I don't know if I'll do it. But if I do, of course, you guys will be able to see it. Um, I guess kind of, I'll say a, li I'll say a little bit. Does not mean it'll happen. I was thinking of just making like a little bit of some foods and then sell it. Like I see people sell, like you know how they do food trucks, but it won't be a food truck. It'll just be like a little tiny stand and just see how that goes. Like it'll just be so many different things. Of course, as I'm applying to get to an actual job. Um, that's what I'll be doing at the time being. And I feel like it's exciting. I like that it gives me more flexibility and time to actually focus on other things, which, of course, is I'll be making the videos and, of course, making the book, Mombi's book, <clears throat> the children's book. I think this is a title. It could change. But what I'm thinking right now is, oh, no, don't panic, <laughs> Adventures and Mishaps. That's what I'm thinking the title would be. But like, like I said, it could change before you officially come. I really do want to be pumping out a lot more content and actually getting that squared away so that actually gets completed because I'm really excited about the book. Um, right now, it's pretty much a lot of illustrations going on. Um, and of course, marketing and all that other stuff will come into play as well. Um, so I'm really excited about that one. This one took me off by surprise. I think it's when I was applying for multiple jobs, I legitimately started to be like, I'll apply to almost everything. Just different. Because I want to try new things. I don't want to just go back to what I did before. Because I have a feeling I'll go back to it. A few months in, I'll get the money. And then before I know it, I'll be miserable again. Well, I don't want to say again, but before I was. Because I don't want to go back and do something that 
I, I'm not a fan of. I want to be interested in what I'm doing, you know? So anyway, in the process, I clicked to be a volunteer firefighter. So I'm in training to do their, I believe it's a PAT test. And golly, I went for orientation the other day and it looks like it's a lot. So you can come with me on the training for that test. Hopefully, I think they'll, I, I'm going to ask to see if they'll let me when I do the test, like for practice ones. I can come in and actually do a video of me doing it. And it's going to be hard. They even said it's hard. So let's see if it can be a volunteer firefighter and everything that entails in that. Um, what is another thing? Hold on. Um, let me see. Well, I guess one thing I was going to say is I feel like I've worked for, co for companies before. And when I'm in the company, I put in my all. I do a lot of research to make sure I do a good job. And now coming back, I'm like, I really, really want to put all that effort and energy for myself, like the research, the time. I want to do that for myself and I want to see what it can produce if I really do put that energy on me. And to be honest, I feel like you were traveling. I feel like we put an energy, but I feel like I could have done more. And because that still lingers in the back of my mind, now that I'm back, I'm like, I really want to do my all now that we're back and see what really can it produce. And if not, I'm really not afraid of failure. If it, ha if it doesn't work out, fine. But I'm enjoying it, and that's all that matters to me. Um, and like I said, many things will be changing because I never thought coming back, I'll try to do the firefighter thing or even the book, the book. The book idea came legitimately right before we left. Turkey to come back to the U.S. Like things change very fast. Um, <laughs> it's funny because I had one of my friends tell me, "It's crazy because your life. I never know what's gonna happen next." And it was so funny when he said that to me that I thought about it and I'm like, I don't even know what happens next in my life, <laughs> and I like it that way. It doesn't feel so status quo. It feels like excitement is what's next. I should have known better, but the phone died on me. But the good thing is we were at the ending. So just to wrap it up, it's we're going to do it. 2023 is all about doing it and for everybody that's doing it. So I feel like the word do it, for, for I it took me a while to be like, do it. What does do it mean? I don't understand what do it means. Um, it's not, you know how they say it's not that easy. I said, it's not that <laughs> Anyways, I feel like doing it is like when you go to school, you have to do your your homework or you got to go to school and be in class. And when you go to work, you're given a job and you got to do it. Whether you fully know it or not, you got to do it. Or you learn and you do it. The same way as being a parent. They're here. You don't know what you're doing, but you do it. And that's what doing it is. It's just getting it done. You know, you know what it is you got to get done, so just do it. And that's how I'm going about it is. It doesn't have to be perfect, but at least let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Bye.